Welcome back. The South Dakota Showdown Series continues tonight with women's basketball South Dakota at South Dakota State. I am joined by Tom Neiman to talk about that. Hello, Stuart. Hi. How's How it? You? Good. How are you? Fabulous. Well, me too. But, Tom, before we get to that, there was a Summit League women's game last night that was insane. Looking at the box score on the way back from Verm, I was just like, what the heck? It set a new Division One record for three-pointers. It was crazy. It was Denver at Western Illinois last night. Western Illinois wins 118 to 93. And for one thing, the 118 points is the third most ever in a Summit League game. Uh, the record is 125. But the big thing, as you said, is each team made 18 three-pointers in this game. And the 36 total is a new Division I women's record for three-pointers made in one game. Uh, Morgan Bloomer had seven for Western Illinois. And Emily Clemens only made three threes, but she had 39 points, 13 assists, and nine rebounds. Clemens missed a uh, triple-double by one rebound last night. Remember, she had one in the Summer League Tournament yes. in the semifinals last year against Omaha. So Clemens <laughs> and uh, Western roll up 118 last night. But Western still has two losses to... USD. And South Dakota State. Hey, so. I also remember Clemens is 5-4. Yes. <laughs> so <She laughs> to put up numbers She's like amazing. that. But, Tom, to the game tonight in Brookings. Yes. Obviously, you had the men's game last night. But South Dakota at South Dakota State That's tonight. all you're going to say about the men's game last night? Oh, I have a lot to say about that. That's, that's fine. That's I'll fine. save it, Tom. I'll that's save fine. it. But um, anyways, at Frost Arena, it has been difficult for the other team, the opponent, to win in the Summit League. Yeah, Jacks have been uh, really, really good at home. SDSU started Summit League play in the 2007-2008 season. And the Jacks went 9-0 and at home that year in the league. They went 9-0 and the next year. They have six years where they have not lost a Summit League game at home. They were 7-0 and last year, 3-0 and so far this year. They have won 92% of their league games at home. But, Stuart, <laughs> oh, you remember the last time a Summit League road team won oh, at Frost Arena? I remember it like it was yesterday. When was Tom? it? It was in January of 2016, and wow, I feel old now. Who is that? <laughs> Well, that's Ty He Miller. Ty He Miller was oh great. Oh my gosh. USD 63-58 back in January 2016. Wow. Kelly Stewart <laughs> had 13 points, five rebounds, and three steals in this game. Oh wow. And Nicole C uh, Seacamp had 23. Seacamp was great. You said you weren't even in at the end of the game. Why I was not? a liability, Tom. They took you out at the end <laughs> of the game. It was a complete liability. I think, well, it was a very intense game. I think, uh, the coaches thought that I would make a sporadic decision with the ball, and you know, we just can't have that in a you game were, like that. You were great up until the last two minutes. You know, I helped to get us there. You did, <laughs> and it was close. Neither team made a lot of shots. There was a five minute stretch in the third quarter where nobody scored. Yeah. If you remember that, but Seacamp uh, scored the last 11 points for USD mm -hmm. in that game and uh, the Coyotes won by five, and that's the last time that a Summit League team has won at South Coast State. Not all that long ago. <laughs> oh, it feels like it was long ago. But, oh uh, Anyway, Macy Miller is having a great year. She yes. did play in that game. Didn't yes. play last year, of course, because she was hurt. But uh, she will play, uh, did play, didn't play last year when the Jackson and Coyotes split. Anyway, Miller, back this year better than ever. She's averaging better than 22 points a game in her last five. Stewart had 31 against Western Illinois in their last game. What makes Macy Miller, in your time against her, what makes her such a good player? Oh, my gosh. Well, she was, I mean young back then a sophomore I guess now she's just a junior with that redshirt year but where do you even start with her she is just so it starts out with the fundamentals so fundamentally sound you're never going to take the ball away from her you're never going to rip her but the thing that I notice the most about her is she is such a smart player yes. that basketball IQ and it's more than just knowing like oh the defense is over here I see this happening she knows specific players and their tendencies on offense and on defense I remember I think of this play every time someone asked me about Macy Miller but it was a Summit League tournament. I probably forgot to box out, and she got an offensive rebound. And knowing me, if you're looking at the scout, I like to jump on any shot fake and try and swat someone and just calmly shot fakes. I jump. She goes up and gets the foul. Another thing yeah. she's great at is finishing with contact, but she just, I think she makes the right decision just about every single time. In all my time of watching her, playing against her, I don't think I've ever seen her take a bad shot, force a shot. She just knows where the ball needs to go, whether that's her taking the shot or her dishing it out. And unlike you, she's not a liability lady. She's not a liability. She's a person she's you want. Can you get in her head at all? Did, did oh gosh, no. I, she's just, she's a steel, well not steel trap, that's but she's just, you can't phase her. She's um, she's just so, such a great leader for the Jacks. They say she's not the biggest vocal leader, but yeah. she leads by example, and she she's outstanding. Can't say enough good right. things about her. We'll see her, see her tonight, see how she does tonight. Mm -hmm. And then for USD, 
On that 2016 team, when uh, you were on there, Allison Arns, Jasmine Trimboli, J.C. Mm -hmm. Bradley, all players that are playing this year for the Coyotes, they were all yeah. very young. I think it was their first year for each of them on that yeah. team. <laughs> Which one of them at that time, Arns and Bradley and Trimboli, did you honestly think was going to be a really good player oh my in gosh. the next couple it's, of years? It's, you it still feels like forever ago, but um, – I knew they were all going to be good. A huge key in that game was we were pressuring the guards. We were really making them run their offense far out. And Jasmine Tromboli was instrumental in that. She was all over Macy Miller, who, as you know, does not get frustrated. But she got a little frustrated in that game. But Allison Arns, I mean, what was it, eight and a half minutes a game she averaged her freshman year? Mm -hmm. So we would see spurts of her with explosive moves and just making great plays in practice. But she didn't really get in a rhythm in a game. JC was solid from the three-point line. She was always a person we could depend on for a big uh, long-range shot. But now she's really coming to her own drive into the hoop. And you can tell the game has just slowed down for her. So. I guess I just, I thought they would all be good, they all, and, they and, they all, and they all <laughs> yeah. have been, and we'll see so. them tonight uh, going against Macy Miller, and again, mm -hmm. it's it's kind of the same matchup we had in the men's game last night, South Dakota State's got the top offense in the Summit, yeah. USD's got the top defense, and we saw how that came out last night in the men's game, hey. but, uh, should be a good game tonight, should be a good crowd, the four best yes. crowds they've ever had at Frost Arena and Brookings for women's basketball have been against USD, so it should be good if you're not there, we've got the game here on Midco. Live on Midco, you're on the call. Got it, coming Can't up. Can't wait, well thanks, great stuff Tom. Thanks Stu. All right, when we come back, the Sanford Pentagon's Terry Vanderbeck joins our Jason Andera in studio for Water Cooler Talk, where they'll chat all things Super Bowl 52. Stick around.